Lubricating oil reduces friction between moving mechanical parts and also removes heat from the components. Marine engine is subject to load variation during maneuvering and in rough sea which causes heat to generate in temperature to an increase. This heat is removed from the lube oil by a cooler to prevent both breakdown of the oil and damage to the mechanical components it serves. This is accomplished by controlling the flow rate of the lube oil with a temperature control loop. The temperature control loop consists of a temperature transmitter, a temperature controller, and a temperature control valve. The lube oil temperature is controlled variable because it is maintained at a desired value or set point. Lube oil flow rate is the manipulated variable because it is adjusted by the temperature control valve to maintain the lube oil temperature. The temperature transmitter senses the temperature of the lube oil as it leaves the cooler and sends an air signal that is proportional to the temperature controller. Next, the temperature controller compares the actual temperature of the lube oil to the set point, the desired value. If a difference exists between the actual and desired temperatures, the controller will vary the control air signal to the temperature control valve. This causes it to move in the direction and by the amount needed to correct the difference. For example, if the actual temperature is greater than the set point value, the controller will vary the control air signal and cause the valve to move in the open direction. This results in more lube oil flowing through the cooler and lowers the temperature of the lube oil leaving the cooler. The above figure represents the lube oil temperature control loop in block diagram form. The lube oil is the process variable in this example, and its controlled output is the lube oil temperature. The temperature transmitter is the feedback element. It senses the controlled output and lube oil temperature and produces the feedback signal. The feedback signal is sent to the summing point to be algebraically added to the reference input, the set point. Notice the set point signal is positive, and the feedback signal is negative. This means the resulting signal is the difference between the set point and feedback signals and is called error signal. Error signal is processed in the controller to produce actuating signal. Processing involves proportional, integral and derivative action. The control valve responds to actuating signal and manipulates the lube oil flow to cooler. Above figure shows typical lubrication control system for slow-speed marine diesel engine. Lube oil is circulated by lube oil pump through filter, three-way control valve, lube oil cooler to the lube oil inlet manifold of engine. The three-way control valve passes and bypasses the high lube oil cooler the amount of oil depending on control signal from the controller. The controller receives feedback signal from temperature transmitter and from the set point. The result of set point and feedback signal is processed in controller and required control action signal is delivered to three-way actuating valve. Variation in engine load causes process value to change. The controller and temperature transmitter respond to the change and sends corresponding control action signal to control valve. Change in set point also causes controller to send appropriate signal to control valve. 